Hey, I'm Marcy Duncan, and today I'm going to be talking with a ton of professional companies here at SETC to get their perspective on what makes a great audition. So let's just dive into these questions. What makes you stop everything you're doing and really watch an audition? Well, confidence, that's, that, that's the easy one. Confidence always makes you kind of hone in a little bit more. The, the thing that gets me to stop, to put my pencil down and really focus, is when they take a beat, when they really take a moment. And so many people that are auditioning want to just go, 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 and get every second they can of text, and how many words can I spit out? But when they take a moment, and they're actually grounded, and they're actually in that reality, it just, it, it pulls the breath out of the room. And everybody just goes, wow, who's that? Yeah. yeah. So that's it for me. Just it, Even if it's just a moment of, of real truth, that's, that's kind of what pulls me in. I think when someone steps on stage and they're prepared and they're confident, they know who they are, they know what they're doing there, they understand the role of an actor in an audition, and they come ready to do it. And then all of a sudden, we're all perked up going, wow, this, this guy's got it. This girl, she's great. I love when a person brings themselves into the audition. I don't like to see what they think I want to see. I want to see the person they are, the performer they are, and what they're bringing into whatever role they're, they're doing. I don't want to see a glazed over eye. I don't want to see someone staring at a point in the wall. I want to see the fire behind the eyes. I want to see a point of view. I want to see a purpose to why you're singing and not just that you're singing pretty notes because you think you're singing pretty notes. I want a purpose to why you're performing. Honesty, honesty. They are not actively trying to push, uh, trying to schmack, as I like to say, that I am seeing them genuinely invested in the character and that it's really coming from in here and not here. I love that very first moment and I love the um, colleges that have taught their kids that that first moment is all important that first three seconds. If they don't grab me right then, they probably don't grab me. Every now and then, I get turned around, but usually it's that first three seconds. Standing up there and saying, picking me is a good choice, and you can tell it. Shake those nerves out. You're there to do what you wanna do, do it. For me, it's someone who is really engaging in what they're performing. So for us, obviously, we we look for singers and dancers. Uh, we want someone to just captivate us with um, their uh, passion for what they're doing. There's a difference between wanting a job and also, but and, and having having that desire to book that job. But there's also that spark of somebody that just you know that they love what they do, and so that is something that when they walk in the room and you just see that joy inside of them, it's like, okay, great. You know, I'm excited to hear what they're gonna do or see them dance. Well, first for me, uh, if, if, as soon as they walk in the door, if they exude confidence, they are well prepared. Uh, singing on pitch helps. If they connect with the song. That, that's something that's very important. It definitely has to do with the confidence. When someone really comes in and just is doing their thing and is ready to do a workshop, they're not worried about the audition, that it's their one chance. I know the way that we audition people is really we workshop you in that moment. And if they're open to that and ready to go with us on whatever happens in the moment, that's the kind of person we want to work with. Their presence when they walk on stage, what do they carry in with them as human beings and are they smiling? I really love people who stand, take a moment, take a breath, smile and say their name and number nice and clearly. That usually gets me going, oh good, let me look. For me it's something unique, it, it's, and it's also that the candidate selects something that is genuine to who they are. Really tells a story about them as a person and that they really connect with. That's when I, that's when I stop and really tune in. And then when you see someone that comes in and owns the room from the beginning, not just the monologue itself, the songs itself, but enters the door, commands the room, talks to the pianist, they've rehearsed everything from the beginning to the end, and the beginning to the end is not the beginning of the song, it's not the beginning of the monologue, it's the moment they enter the room, all the way until they're out of the room. You hire great talent, but you also hire a human and a human that you want to work with and be with and for whatever period of time they're being hired for, a good person can be seen in that audition room as well and you want to be able to showcase that individuality that you have. Their presence. 
from the moment they step on stage, from their chair, from getting up from their chair, walking to Jose to talk about, I mean, you watch them all the time. And it's that, just how they carry themselves. Are they confident? Like, um, if they're sad, there are some times that you see someone that looks like they're just sad because they're nervous. But instead of being like energetic about it, it starts to lower their energy, which lowers our energy in the room. So I'm looking for that person who has instant presence because it's a constant performance. So yeah. that you're on the minute you're in that room. Even sitting in that chair, you're on because people are looking at you. There are 90 plus companies, hundreds of companies at times that are watching from where you're sitting down to you get up to you doing your actual piece. The thing that catches my attention in an audition is a storyteller. I want to get swept into a moment, swept into a story uh, in the same way that I want my audience to do uh, when I cast that person. Um, I know everyone auditioning wants the job, but just as badly, I want them to be somebody that I can hire. So I'm definitely rooting for everybody that's auditioning. Um, and the thing that gets me excited is when I'm transported into that story. I think if they have that special something, that magic it, you know? Um, I think that will stop me before anything else. And, and you can tell if an actor is really loving what they're doing, because if you, if you pick the right material and you love your piece, then that shows, and we know that. So if you're having fun, then we're gonna have fun. When an actor is, is polished and poised, uh, we see a lot of people that, that don't walk on the stage with a good start. They'll walk on and they'll mumble their name or it'll be uh, barely audible. Uh, so when I see an actor that walks on and is very strong with their number or their name and then they continue on, uh, we like to see how they interact with the people sitting around them as well as with the piano player. Uh, that, that matters a lot. That can be uh, a turn me away from them quickly if, if I see that they're not um, team players. They don't feel like they're, they're in it for the right reasons to, to make the, the production go forward. You know, they get, they get 90 seconds to impress us, but we really make probably the, the snap decision within the first 10 seconds. You know, they get the other 75 or so seconds to prove me right or wrong. I can tell that when they've actually done the right amount of preparation, when they're not just having the first time that they're actually singing their song with the pianist the first time, or even doing their piece for more than just their friends. You know, when they're actually prepared and they know and they're calm and they just, they just kind of do it rather than just that little bit extra fear you can tell when they haven't uh, rehearsed it as much as they probably should have. It's a certain kind of focus. You need to have some sort of life behind your eyes. And um, I really appreciate it when you're performing from the get-go. So as soon as I start teaching the combination, if you can start um, using your face, uh, really getting into it, showing your passion, showing your creativity. I think then it becomes a little bit more fluid when you actually perform it for the companies, but it always catches my eye right away, and I, I just love to see that. As soon as you walk in the room, you're auditioning. As soon as you walk in the hotel, you're auditioning. When they can be themselves, the whole, from start to finish, I think when people start to try to be someone else or show what we always say show what you can do versus what you can't do and I don't like to use the word can but if you know technique is not your strongest suit you may want to go with the dancers the, uh, the mover dancer um, combination. The most important thing I think you should have at these auditions or any audition you go to is a personality. You have to bring some kind of character or a vision to the dance that's what makes you stand out. Um, I always say that it's easier to teach someone to dance than to teach them to have a personality. So if I had two people, one who's like a great dancer, but there was nothing here, and I had another one who was struggling with the dance call, but they gave me all the face and character that I need, I can do more with that person, because I can always teach someone how to dance, but to teach them to have a personality is a different thing. If someone is compelling, if someone has presence, if someone is good,